Thank you, John, for your nice introduction. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a number of reasons why I've asked you to come today. The first reason I've asked you to come is to say thank you for your confidence. The confidence you've shown in me over the past five years as your mayor. That confidence has allowed me to help you do the things that we've done in our village. We know the things that we've done, there are three of them. We've put in new paving all the way around so the people in wheelchairs, and we have a few of them in our village, the ladies with the prams, and of course the children on the small bikes have somewhere safe to walk and to pedal. We all did that together with our own hands. The second one, of course, were the bus shelters. Remember the days that we've spent clearing the bus shelter areas and erecting these bus shelters ourselves so that we could save some money for our village? We all did that together. And now everybody has a bus shelter they can stand in rather than stand out in the snow or the sun. And of course, the third thing that we did, which has been absolutely remarkable, and a lot of people are talking about it, is this very, very large adventure area we've built for the children down by the river. Not only can the children go down by the river and be safe, but the parents have somewhere they can send them and then know where they will be. And the adventure area is designed, and you all know that because some of you people here in this room helped us design it. Some of you actually worked in it. But it's been designed in a way that it's safe for the children. Now, of course, my five years is just about to end. And I'm asking you all once again to give me your confidence and vote for me again. I have three more projects that we would like to achieve together. And I've got a small catchphrase for it. Cob. C-O-B. Some of you are going to be surprised because you don't know about it. But the C is for the children of the area. We have lots of mums in the area that would like to go back to work. The possibilities of them going back to work are limited because they have nowhere to send their children during the day. Let's build a child care centre. Our own Brownsville child care centre. We could also employ some of the people in our village, the nurses, the unemployed nurses, the unemployed school teachers, to actually run this centre. The O, the O part of the COB, is for our aged people, the older people in the village. And we all know that myself and John up the back up there, and of course Peter sitting beside him, and quite a few of us, we're getting on, but there are older people out there. Where are they? Most of us go to visit them in their homes. They live alone. They live alone. We all know what it's like to be alone sometimes. But let's build an age centre for these people. Something that is almost state of the art. And bring these old people who are living alone to this centre so they live in a community. They can re-contribute to our community. These people have information and they have skills that we're losing. Our children aren't learning these skills. These older people can teach them. And of course the B. What is the B all about? The B is all about a bike link. We have three other villages not too far away, and if you take that as a square, in the centre of that, of course, are the wonderful vineyards that we all work in, in our spare time. So why don't we have a bike link between the four towns, so that people can meander through the vineyards and have a better time. Not only that, it will also encourage more tourism into our area. And Jeff over here, who owns one of the hotels in the area, he was complaining the other day that there's not enough people staying at his hotel. We have a bike link. We'll encourage people to come. Where will they stay? There's a good chance they'll stay at Jeff's hotel. Now, some of the people, and I can see that we've got a 
couple of people up here shaking their heads and I understand what's going through your mind at the moment. This is going to cost money. Yes. But if the EU can waste 589 billion euros on Greece, we can go to them and ask them for only 51 million euro, which will not be wasted, it will be put into development into an area that will help develop our children for, for the future to come through and their children and their children and their children. So ladies and gentlemen, I have no need to give you my credentials, you all know me, you've known me now for the past 23 years I've lived here, but only five years as your mayor, you know what we've done together. I'm asking you all, let's do more together. Let's set our village up as a really fantastic example of what villages can do when they all work together. 16th of April, remember, voting day, that's the day you mark on your ballot, Bob Brown, for mayor. But Bob Brown means cob. Future for our children, aged people having somewhere they can be brought together to recontribute to our society and to our village, and of course, a bike link that will also encourage other people to come to our area and explore our area. Thank you for your time, folks. Go home and have a good evening.